If something happens to my violin, I'm nothing. Which made me realize I shouldn't feel anything towards it. That's not who I truly am. That's just like a mask. Well, that's like a kick-ass thing I can do. My name's Richard Wagner. I am 17 years old. Started playing violin when I was seven years old. My mom wants to take the credit for making me start, but I don't think that's how it happened. I just randomly saw a violin and I was like, I really want to play that. And saw like, oh, I could do that. I'm young and I'll learn it. Well, I, I do play guitar, piano, drums, bass. I was born in Los Angeles, California, but my parents came from Russia. I grew up on Hollywood Boulevard, so it was right next to the stars, but it was still a really quiet neighborhood. Then I went to a public elementary middle school, and then I went to a music high school for a couple of years. I would take music classes, and then in 10th grade, I was enrolled in school. Like, my mom thought I was going to school the whole year. I would just walk out of my house, and cut, like she'd go to work, and I'd come right back in. When she found out, she was like, okay, you have to take the GED test. So I took it, and after that, I got my GED and graduated, and then it was like, well, uh, now I don't have to be in high school. I'm just gonna go tour the world. See ya, mom. <laughs> I didn't stick with it, like, there was multiple times when I quit. And that's where my mom came in, like, she'd be like, oh, just keep doing it, or my brother, or somebody, if you want to play music, like, you're gonna be bad. But it's just going past, like, the 10,000 hours of where you're bad. Because it, like, literally took me 10 years to get good. Everyone who plays violin sticks with the traditional, like, classical path. After, like, eight, nine years, I was like, this is the most boring thing in my life. I want to do my own music, I want to play with bands. I was in a band. For like three years, there's just a lot of like drama. It's so hard working with other people. And after like three years, we like officially called it quits. I'm thankful I, I really got out of it and I feel bad. When I would do it with a band or play shows, like nothing would happen. But when I would just go by myself and like loop, then stuff started clicking. People saw me, I started playing festivals, started meeting the right people. Blending modern and classical music together with technology and like creativity. It was just really original, like no one does it with a violin. I don't know where it came from, my heart. I'll just play whatever I feel in the moment, depending on like the space and the silence and the vibe I'm feeling and how the day went and how the week's going. And I don't know, just on the spot. I don't even have the songs in my head, honestly. Honestly, my brother was a really big inspiration and he did music, which was an inspiration for me to do that. My mom was like, you gotta be a lawyer or a doctor. They didn't want me to be a musician. I'm first generation. They moved here for me to be like rich and have a really nice life. That's not gonna make me happy. That's not what I wanna do. I didn't wanna just go into the music industry and mess shit up and make a lot of money. At this day and age, it's counterproductive to sign with the record label. The entertainment industry or the festival or music industry, whatever you wanna say, is like the most messed up thing in the world. It's not anyone's like personal fault. It's just the system. Every promoter wants to screw you over because that's more money they get. That's why I don't want to sound record label. I know they'll be like, okay, this is how you have to act, this is what you have to say, this is what you have to do. Why do I have to be someone I'm not just to make you more money? I'd rather just be myself and I'm an activist too. I really wanted to like make a change with the voice I have. I went up to Standing Rock for a month, which really taught me to be like, I'm like super privileged and like really showed me to be grateful. They're like sleeping in teepees and like eating bologna sandwiches, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. My plan, like, I'm super self-conscious about it. Making sure I get every note like perfect. I know I don't, so like, it brings me down. It used to be my height. Yeah, sure, I was like, wow, why am I so short? But then I like realized it's a gift, like on airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> There's been moments where I play and I'm like, okay, I wish I was way better. But it's never been like, oh, I should give up. Because I feel like I'm at that level of where like I can play with anyone professionally. But to me, it's like, Dude, you can play a hundred times better. I used to have an idealistic profile of myself, but I realized that's not who I truly am. I wanted to be more entertaining or more funny on stage, but like I realized all I have to do is be me and the rest will follow. I'm already it. There's no point to become it. Honestly, I don't have any struggles. And like all the struggles I do have are just tiny little things that I need to get over that don't matter. I'm not famous. Get out of here. In my eyes, I don't think I've made it yet. I think I'm still one of those kids who's randomly playing music. 
literally performing is the most high you'll ever get in your life. Playing for one person. And like seeing them smile, that's like, you're God. <laughs>